Hello everyone. Uh, today my topic is halogenation of higher alkene. What is the, my topic? Halogenation of higher alkene. Halogenation of higher alkene means what? Do you guys know what is halogen? Halogen it can be fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. Your halogenation it can be this, this thing. Halogenation. Anytime if you see nation, that means you're going to be add something. Add what? To the alkene. And you have to show the mechanism. Okay. I'll show you the halogenation of higher alkene. It can be fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, anything. And like it can be in your exam. Show me the mechanism of. Show me the mechanism. Of, mechanism of chlorination. Clo or chlorination of like uh, two methyl uh, cyclobutane 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 so um so show me the mechanism of chlorination of cyclobutane so wh what do you understand at the first step is you, you understand cyclobutane means this is my cyclobutane, right? And it's react with what? Sprudation means Cl2 and gives me what? This is your overall reaction. This is your what? Overall reaction. So the, this one mechanism is step number one. If you see the Cl2, in your mind, you have to understand this is the free radical mechanism what kind of mechanism free radical mechanism so cl2 bring the cl2 why you are writing like that because you want to break these things by ub light with what ub light i think you guys did did on the lab uh, you do know what is uv light okay so with uv light with uv light you're going to be break down and make a free radical so look with uv light this one is get one radical and this one is get one radical so look Okay, what is your second step? Just bring this one is your second step. This is called initiation. You're going to be right. You will see in your books what the step name is. Step number two. Step number two, you'll bring the cyclobutane. And this cyclobutane is going to be react with one free radical. What's the name of this one? Free radical attack to the alkane. So look, this carbon, any carbon you can attack because I don't mention anything. So this carbon has how many hydrogen? Two hydrogen. You do know, right? And you know every bond has a two electron. Yes or not? Yes. How many electron? Two electron. So what happened? Look. And this is not an attacking part. This is 50 50. It's like a, you are. Um, date with somebody so you're going to be go to, you're going to be fixed any place both of you going to be the same place in the it's not a, like you are going to some somebody's house it's not a you are attacking somebody it's not like that it's going to be what like a 50 50. if this one is going to be go 50 percent this is going to become 50 percent do you understand why is it 50 percent 50 percent then 50 percent 50 percent you can easily remember if you say 50 50 that means you're not going to be forget how it is if you write like that, for example, if you say your um, if you say your chlorine is attacking in there, like directly in here, no, this is not not this kind of mechanism. This is free radical mechanism. So it has to be 
what both way so this one is come 50 percent this is come 50 percent it doesn't mean that is exactly has to be 50 percent you have to show that two arrow one is going this way, one other is coming this way. They are meeting in one point. Do you understand? Yes. So what happened? Look right now. If this this chlorine, this hydrogen make what? Hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric. Hydrogen chloride. Or you can write this way. Or you can write okay because these two electron is in the common then this one is if this hydrogen leaves that means there is a what remains one radical remain in the alkene so step number three step number three you have free alkane radical and you have a one more halogen radical so what happened they attack each other this one is coming little bit this one is little bit so you have to show the both arrow you understand and you can um, what is called motion This is your mechanism. This is your what mechanism? It's three step mechanism. Step number one, you're going to be use the UV light and break down, break down your what is your chlorine. It can be chlorine, fluorine, bromine, anything. Just break down this. This step is is the common things. This one might be can change. It can be, for example, two methyl psych, uh, two methyl pentane. Uh, it can be uh, anything cyclohexane. It can be anything. React with one radical in there. Then when alkene make a free radical, this free radical is react with a, another free, a free radical hel halogen. They make a what? Chloro chlorocyclobutane. Because it, there is only one substitute, that's why you don't have to mention one chloro. This is chlorocyclobutane. If you guys like my videos, don't forget to share with your friend and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any, any question, you can email me. My email address is alamgirhussain1992 at gmail.com. I will answer your question as soon as possible. And study hard. And thank you for watching my videos.